Thank you so much. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been a while since we've been at Ronnie Scott's. Our, our hair is longer. We're, we're much wiser. And we're, we're, we're not used to being here this early, I'll tell you that. We usually start at 1. But it, it's funny because it always looks the same in here. So that's a, the that's a sign of a good bar. You can't tell what time it is. It's really good. So um, we're having a great time. Um, you're listening to Alec Harper, Will Cleesby, Ferg Ireland, Joe Webb. Um, they all shop for themselves, amazingly. <laughs> um, just have really similar tastes in this band. It's kind of weird. Um, that was called Jump Monk, and it was written by Charles Mingus. And we're going to play one of our own tunes now um, called Dream Lane, which is off our new album. Oh, Nick. Is Nick in here? Thanks for the great intro. Yeah, man. <laughs> for, those of who, for, for those who didn't hear, Nick Lewis gave us a lovely introduction. Um, if you didn't hear, you clearly weren't listening. <laughs> this is called Dream Lane.
And thank you to our studio audience for enjoying that. There's, uh, there's, there's only one person in here. Um, thanks for enjoying that, if you did. Uh, that was called Dream Lane. It's on our new album called Things Happened Here. Um, and it featured Alec Harper on the saxophone. Um, yeah. We're going to try a new one now. We've been, we've been trying to keep, you know, keep productive during uh, the past few months. Um, and so we're writing music for a new album, which is really exciting because that's what we love to do the most. Right, Ferg? Yeah. Um, and uh, this is one of the new songs. This is uh, still untitled, but it's an Alec Harper original. And uh, for the time being, it's called Pavan. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. Um, it's called Pavan.
Will Cleesby on the drums. Will Cleesby. And Alec Harper on the saxophone. It's his tune called Pavan. We're Kansas Smitties, uh, in case you're just tuning in. And uh, we want to thank you for doing that. And we want to thank uh, Ronnie Scotts. We want to thank you, Nick, and all the great people here um, for getting us in. It's super fun to be back. Um, we can't wait until you all can come watch us here. Um, it looks a lot bigger than I remember. Well, not that much bigger. Oh, audience things. We have a birthday request from Karen. Happy birthday, Karen. We have a... Uh, we have a, a... Oh, Nissan in the parking lot with the lights on. Okay, we're going to get that moved. Um, there's an alarm. Uh, it's, it's pronounced Nissan. Um, we have 700 people watching. That's amazing. Um, I think it's probably your dad has six screens running, though, isn't it? So we can yeah. take those right off. Um, that's a shame. Um, Alicante. Are these places you want to visit? Alicante. Oh, these are places that people are watching from. Right, okay. This is amazing. Alicante. Leek. Never heard of Leek. Oh, that's where he is, right. Wow. Could make a joke about that, but I won't. Right next to Scallion. Sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Leek. They're not called leeks here, are they? Oh, they're called spring onions. No, but scallions, scallions are called. Right. Well, this was really, this has been great. This has been really good. Thank you for all of you. Greece, Malta, Saudi Arabia, Saratoga. I know where that is. These guys have all been to Saratoga. I'll tell you a funny story about Saratoga. We went out to the lake to, um, to have a drink after doing a, an amazing photo shoot in the high grass. And, and the funny thing about doing a photo shoot in the high grass was before we got to Saratoga, before we got to the States, Ferg found an article online about tick season in upstate New York. Now, ticks, if you know anything about ticks, love to hang out in the high grass. So as soon as we got to the state park where we were going to do our photo shoot with a photographer who was from Saratoga, we got out of the car, and, uh, and he said, OK, so if everybody could just arrange themselves over there in the high grass. And everybody was stood like this, and it was just like, <laughs> jaws down. And then, and then we took the plunge. So we, so we decided to go and have a drink after, after the high grass incident. Nobody had a tick or Lyme disease, so it was a really successful photo shoot. Um, and, uh, and we ended up out at the lake, sitting on the patio. But the problem was that we had been sat on the patio, but unbeknownst to us, we weren't allowed to be sat on the patio. So the waitress came over, and she said, well, first of all, she said, you remember what she said? We said, can we have a few beers? And she said, oh my god, are you guys from Australia or something? <laughs> to which we, we, we swiftly replied, yes. And then we got asked to leave. So Darcy, what does that, what does that tell you? <laughs> no. Um, that's a true story. So we're not from Australia. Um, but thanks, Saratoga. Thanks for watching, Saratoga. We're not from Australia. <laughs> uh, this is a new one. This is called Fugue State. And it's, I uh, have to thank, so we do, a, we do a live stream as well from Kansas Smitty's called um, KSTV. And our producer is Darcy O'Connor. And he's, um, he's not only a producer, he's a, he's a Michelin star chef. He's a sommelier. Uh, he's, a, he's a champion cyclist. He's a black belt. <sighs> Jeez. I wish I'd written this down. Um, but he's also a movie buff, so he told me to watch this amazing movie called Paris, Texas. And if anybody's seen it, you'll know. Uh, that it's yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful soundtrack by Ry Cooter. Um, beautiful movie. And uh, the, the character Trav, in the beginning, is experiencing what's called fugue state. So this is, this is called fugue state. <laughs>
Ferg Island on the bass. Ferg Island on the bass. If, if you ever wonder how a song's supposed to go, just listen to Ferg. Because he always... I, I saw you one time... You, you're, you'll be embarrassed by this, but I saw you one time here on stage roast about seven horn players who were all on the top of their game. And they called this tune, and it was going... And they all got up, and they were... Garbage. Then he plays, and they all disappeared. They all went home. Because that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> you were playing um, In Your Own Sweet Way. But what's the song called? This is so odd. You know, if you were all here right now, you'd be laughing so hard. You'd just be <laughs> dying laughing. But you're not. Um, but we're laughing a little bit. Um, so it's, it's really, <laughs> wow. Tough crowd, huh? Um, we're really going to have to get used to this virtual thing, you know. Um, I know, right? <laughs> um, we hope you enjoyed that fugue state. We're, we're, we're really enjoying ourselves, and, um, and it's just so great to be back at this great club playing music again. Um, we're going to feature the rhythm section now on a good old classic. Uh, this is Joe Webb on the piano. As I said before, Ferg Island on the bass, Will Cleesby on the drums, and this is uh, a tune entitled I Cover the Waterfront. I Cover the Waterfront.
That's I Cover the Waterfront. Joe Webb on the piano. Ferg Island on the bass. Will Cleesby on the drums. You didn't clap for Joe. <laughs> Joe Webb on the piano. <laughs> I was only joking. Oh, no, that wasn't a joke either. Um, that was called I Cover the Waterfront. Now we're going to feature Joe on um, one of our favorite Ellington compositions. Um, this is called Reflections in D. Reflections in D.
That's Joe Webb on reflections in D. And there's not a dry eye in the house. There's not any eyes in the house. Um, oops. Um, how amazing is that composition? Amazing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna answer some audience questions right now, and we're gonna do some role playing. So, uh, Alec, you're gonna be Annika. Okay. Annika, would you like to ask a question? I really like the jacket. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Annika. We like them too. They're 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 a light poly cotton, quite breathable. Uh, I, I usually wear mine f five or six times before a wash. Um, the color fades a bit, but that's okay. Um, right. Andrew. Andrew, what, what would you like to s say? Keep doing what you're doing. Work really tough, but you're killing it. Thanks, Andrew. Um, thanks, Andrew. Uh, th thank you. Uh, how how do you think the rest of the band is doing with, with the virtual? Because you said, I, I'm killing it, but how are they doing? <laughs> are, they, are they good? Are they, are they good? You can, you can write in again. Yeah, we can have a dialogue here. This is, this is, this is modern tech. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, Ferg, you can be the mystery caller. Oh, sorry. Uh, what have you, uh, w mystery caller? What have you got in your pockets? <laughs> um, Alec, what have you got in your pockets? Alec has headphones. <sighs> That's anticlimactic. I, uh, Joe, what do you have in your pockets? Nothing. I have, uh, I have an envelope. <laughs> I thought I had a box of reeds, but I don't. Wow, this is good. <laughs> Tell us about how Things Happened Here came about. I can do that. Uh, things Happened Here came about because we, we went into the studio. We, go in, we, we recorded a place called Durham Sound Studios um, uh, with a guy called Lewis Durham, a really good friend of ours. And it's, it's an amazing recording studio because you walk in. Usually people walk in for the first time and they say, so um, when, when you put the songs into the computer, when you record the songs onto the computer, then what are you going to do for post-production? And he just looks at them with a blank expression and says, this music is never going to touch a computer. And it's all analog gear, and it's all recorded the right way, the old style. And um, the way it came about was we went into Lewis's. We go in uh, kind of once every six months, and we lay down some tracks just to kind of keep everything going. And uh, we recorded Riders, which is the single first single off the album. And our manager, Jack, came in and he said, this is amazing. This is, this is my favorite song you've ever written. And I said, how's that meant to make me feel after five years? <laughs> and, and he said, no, no, no. I, I really like it. No, I really, I like it. No, really, really, I like it, really. That's what he said. And then he said, could you make an album all in that mood? And, uh, and we did. So that was kind of... That was kind of the genesis of that album, but the idea behind it was to kind of reflect on the idea of, of how we fit in, in in the world and in the past and the present and, you know, where things happened and where things will happen and we're just here in between. So that was a great question from Steve. Um, you can be Marta. Where do you prefer playing to no one? Oh. Yeah, well, I like to run a bath. No, I am... Um, <laughs> uh, where do I prefer playing to no one? I mean, <laughs> that's a great question. Uh, I'm going to kick that one to Ferg. Ferg, where do you prefer playing to no one? Uh, at Ronnie Scott's. Correct. Can we have a round of applause for question time? Thank you very much for all those questionnaires who wrote in. If you call within the next five minutes, we'll throw in the Ginsu knife and the bird suit. And, uh...
We want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Uh, if you want to donate, uh, it helps us um, dress uh, well in blue jackets. Um, no, seriously, if you, if you want to support uh, what Ronnie's is doing, it would uh, be great to... Um, how do you say this? Oh, be normal. There's a way to make donations. It would be great if you donated. Thank you. Um, I'm not used to saying that at Ronnie Scott's because usually people buy tickets, unless you're like me and you snuck. Nick, this is this is strict confidence. I never told you this story. The first the first time I saw Wynton Marsalis here, it was sold out, and I just I was I had a I had a blazer on, so I just walked in with the band, and then I and then as they walked onto the stage, I just went up, just I was the it was the I, I'm not this kind of person. I'm just telling you, I I never do this. Uh, you know about that. You know about that. <sighs> and I just, I just, I went up in the back over there. You can't see where I'm pointing, but I went over there, and I just, there's a little. I shouldn't tell them this. I shouldn't, because they'll do it. I just hid behind the last row of seats. Um, I felt so alive. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, your donations really help live music, and uh, we really appreciate you tuning in. We're going to play a couple more. Uh, another new one. This is called Sunday Davison.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, um, we could play Things Happened Here, or we could play something else. It's jazz. What would you like to hear, studio audience? You don't know what something else is. The something else? Wow. That little faith in my set list. Riders, unfortunately, is impossible tonight um, for, for personal reasons. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there's been a request for, for Sunnyland. Now, Riders, I didn't bring the bass clarinet. It's just not the same. But if you want to hear Riders, that's Colin's favorite. Well, it's one of his favorites. I, have, have we ever done anything you didn't like? Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> that's a challenge. Play something Colin doesn't like. Well, Miles, that, that, I, I hope that's impossible, but I'm not going to test the waters. Um, we're going um, to play another tune from our new album, Things Happened Here. This is called Sunnyland, and it features Ferg and Will. Uh, but thank you again for tuning in at home. We really appreciate it. Thank you to Ronnie Scotts for, uh, for having us here. It's, it's such a pleasure to be back. You've been listening to Alec Harper. Will Cleesby, Ferg Ireland, Joe Webb. My name is Giacomo Smith. Remember to check the uh, donations button for special prizes um, or just to donate. That's just great, and we really appreciate it. Um, if, you, uh, if, if, you're a, if you're a virtual jazz kind of person and you're looking for a community, you can keep coming to Ronnie Scott's and you can check out our, um, our live streams as well. Uh, go to kansasmitties.com and you can find out all about that. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you soon.
How about it, ladies and gentlemen, for Kansas Smitties. It's wonderful having them in the club. Yes, a communal bow. That's what we like to see. Yeah, they're still clapping because we've got people in Cape Town. We've got people in Azerbaijan and Moscow and St. Petersburg are all watching. So just, I think one more bow. Ladies and gentlemen, Kansas at Smitty's. Don't forget, you can still donate and uh, your donations are warmly welcome. Thank you very much for those and, and much appreciated again to the sound team and the lighting team here at Ronnie Scott's. Um, we'll be back on Thursday with an incredible t a duet between Ian Shaw, the incredible Ian Shaw, and Claire Martin, and they'll be rocking the joint, as they say. So, so hopefully we'll see some of you then. Once again, thanks to Jacobus Smith and the entire band of Kansas Smitties. Thanks, Jacob.